Back in Los Angeles, Sister Margaret has built one of her own. I'm joining her on one of her many home visits with former Covenant House clients. Hey, look at you. Hey, hey how are you? You look I'm gorgeous. Fine. You want to see my house? Yes, please. So this is the living room. Great. 24-year-old Denise recently moved in to this government-subsidized apartment. It's a world away from the life she led before as a homeless transgender prostitute. Do you have some fruits, Denise? Yeah, I have some mangoes and some strawberries. My mother kicked me out when I was 13. I told her that I wanted to be a woman, and she didn't like that. At 19, Denise was first diagnosed with cancer. She met Sister Margaret during one of her many hospital stays. She has me on a very strict diet. I have. I no fast food. She's saying that I have. I'm not, I'm not the doctor. I just encourage her. OK, she encourages me. Their relationship has sustained Denise through her ongoing treatment. Cheers. How much has Sister Margaret helped you? If I didn't have her by my side to go through this treatment, I would let the cancer run its course because I just couldn't deal with it by myself. She takes me to every appointment. She makes sure I have everything that I need and that I'm not in pain. She's like the mother I never had because, you know, a mother's supposed to love you and, and be there for you and take care of you, and that's everything that she is to me. As a nun, you take the vow of chastity, but you kind of have all these kids. <laughs> But you know, that, that's what the vow of chastity is about. It's about being free to love others. My union is with God, but it gives me that freedom to love everyone else. And to, to Through Sister Margaret different. and Denise's story, the vow of chastity finally makes sense. Free of the responsibilities that come with being a biological mother, Sister Margaret can be a spiritual one. As a woman, it's one of the most meaningful sacrifices she can make, and it's saved Denise's life. She's made me a better person. I go to church every Sunday. Even though I have to get up early, I, I get my ass up and I go, you know? I want to be just like her. Mm -hmm. You don't want to be a nun, though. If that's what God has in plan for me, then hey, you know, they'll have a transsexual nun. <laughs> oh, you they will. me up, Denise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like crying and laughing and the whole thing. I, I think I'll be the first transgender nun. <laughs> Who knows? We have to be open to what God's plan is for everyone. <laughs>